If you are looking for a visually impressive vampire film in the spirit of Daughters of Darkness but with much more romance and violence than Vampires is a classic film of the 70s replete with excellent crisp photography and fine direction from Horse Ramon Lara a nice sense of impending doom and perversity runs throughout the film until the final devastating climax when nobody is spared from the horrors vampires offers up no answers only questions as a film almost totally devoid of plot you would be forgiven for thinking this might be pretty boring and incomprehensible there is some spell binding hypnotic quality to the vampire ladies which somehow connect to the viewer this is a really a scary film but more of a sombre haunting one which builds up plenty of atmosphere and style in between each action scene the nudity level is extremely high in this film effectively beating the trilogy of hammers vampire films at their own game high is the blood level with some really wins including vampire moment which will have you averting your eyes if you dislike the sight of blood as it just looks so damn realistic here especially the horrible bits where the vampires lick and drink blood from a cut on a man's arm while there might be something of a repetitive nature to the film each new scene is handled a fresh in a way which never becomes boring of the two vampires marian morris is the most alluring while the oddly named anulka the most frightening both women convey well their lost fill diet of romance and blood in the many erotic scenes of the film using their physical presence for maximum effect both peaked for their attractive yet odd appearances the rest of the cast are all good in their roles too giving performances which make the characters realistic and believable especially the unfortunate woman who falls victim to the advances at the last minute in 1974 director hos ramon lara released this blood sock erotic film vampires which told the story of a lesbian vampire couple who would waylay and kidnap various passers by both male and female to take them captive at the luxurious rural manor british terror movie about two vampires women who cause dreadful murders being originally directed by the spanish craftsman jose ramon lara 
this horror as well as semi exploitation movie deals with a lesbian vampire couple abduct motorists and drivers to halt them at their large mansion in the english countryside in order to kill and feed on them to satisfy their insatiable thirst for chew their blood the starving vices seem to carry out terrible death which are impossible to stop as they feed them wine have passionate romance and then stab them to death while drinking their blood the alluring female vampires share the pleasure of the flesh bloody hungry and the horrors of the grave they unleash their fantastic skills and become even more violent and sadistic a couple that has not yet found a place to park their camper attempt to find out the rare events leading to an old mansion in bloody result which end in death This frightening movie deliberately told contains thrills, chills, suspense, sleazy images and lots of violence and gore including obnoxious killing. Host Ramon Lara, master of Artigo and Sopko bring this ghastly and stylish story plagued with eerie intrigue nudism and depraved go murders executed in a luxury mansion it was later turned into a resort hotel it is a straight horror film that features gallons of sleaze upon sleaze and a lot of violence the screenplay is credited to Diana Dupuni director Jose Ramon Lara's wife Diana she was credited because as a british citizen she filed a uk production quota This is an English exploitation from Hammer Vampire Swain as Horse Lara takes here and there from the vampire lovers Camilla Countess Dracula and twins of evil Colorful cinematography in Hammer style with glimmer as well as lurid colors Lara was a director of horror and erotic films and former comic book illustrator and fashion photographer. Lara subsequently shot horror classic Cult Obscurities Eurotras and even some exploitation. As he filmed his first movies in England plenty of terror suspense and love such as Whirlpool Deviation Scream or Die and Symptoms with Angela Pleasance and Peter Wogan He also shot Sopko and then Horse Ramon returned Spain filming horror and semi exploitative movies such as Stigma Rito del Diablo Al Filo del Hacha and Descans and Pizzas imitating the American slashers 
of the 70s and 80s. His most successful film is This Vampire about blood suckers who get victim to pull over his hiking. Played by playboy young models with hot bodies, blending arty house, horror and erotic situations. The film in England, high-spirited Spanish director Jose Ramon Lara works hard not to bring a coy, purient perspective to this joyous celebration of steamy eroticism, lesbianism and vampirism. If he had failed, we would have been saddled with a loveless, potentially arousing work such as Jimmy Sangster's Lust for Vampire. Featuring some of the most delicious scenes of rampant, charge, blood drinking ever, Vampire is a minor classic hampered only by a half backed mindering script and static dialogue. Negative aside, it still manages to be poetic, sensual, dreamlike and gloriously subversive. After all, it is a film of genuine atmosphere. The vampire leads, exuberantly played by the beautiful Marianne Mori and Anulka Zubinska, are extraordinary, a horror fan's wet dream made place. Images of them haunting country road in search of victim or dashing through a cemetery in the late afternoon tattoo themselves into your psyche.